Now, the country director, Action Aid Nigeria, Andrew Mamedou, has criticized Western banks for funding multinational oil companies in the Niger Delta, causing environmental degradation. He emphasized the need for citizens to take responsibility for the country and hold the government accountable for their actions, as stated in the Constitution. Now, Mamedou urged citizens to take action and hold the government accountable for their inactions. What we are advocating for is for citizens to be responsible in managing and running their country. Citizens should take charge of their country and government should be accountable to the citizens as enshrined in our constitution. That is what we are saying and that is what we are advocating for. Enough of citizens sitting down and not holding their government accountable. We need to hold our government accountable from the local government, from the councillor to the president. We need to hold all of them accountable to make sure we get the country that we desire. I would ask you, is this the country we desire? Everyone here? Definitely not. And the only way to do that is for us as citizens to support the government, work with the government and hold them accountable. If we put more pressure... At the roundtable, a meeting with 80 participants, including National Assembly, host communities, civil society organizations, and traditional leaders, they discussed the importance of government projects in the Niger Delta region, urging the people to prioritize their interests. The people from Delta states, that uh, the committee on Niger Delta, that we are very ready to carry out our oversight function. Because the essence of oversight, oversight function, is to make sure that government developmental policies and programs or projects eh, meant for the people of Niger Delta are implemented to the letter, that they are carried to the fruition. We wanted to avoid uh, vast situations where government will make provisions and the people will not see what government has provided for them. Oil theft, illegal bunkers is contributing a lot of climate change because there is no technical way of you know, preparing this thing. And he's on that, he's on a bill for, I think he has made a, he made a motion already on the need to address gas flaring. Okay, we're also looking for means to convert gas flaring into, into electricity because we have to clean up the atmosphere really. We're looking at increasing afforestation to restore the uh, conservative life of Delta. And there are other things on, on the pipeline. At home, it's a different thing entirely. Wow. We've just seen little things from the drama we have seen and the pictures. What we are experiencing at home is different. I must tell you, I reside in the middle of Igreka community. The picture of those four gas flares you saw just now, that is where I stay. I was born there. I'm still staying there till tomorrow. It is really challenging to be there. We are living like cops in that particular place. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.